Hi, this is Katie. So today's video obviously is in my apartment. My dance moves, I got them from my mom. My mom dances like this. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know how the audio is gonna be in here. I live on a pretty main road, so it's kind of loud outside. Um, and like, I have hardwood floors. Does that mean that's an echo? I don't know how sound works. I don't know how the lighting is in here. I have a lamp but I don't know how any of this works. Um, so this is kind of like my trial video to see if I can start recording inside more. So today's video, it's Friday video, and so it's not gonna be about travel. And so I was like, well, let me see if I can do it in the house. And then it's not travel, it's not in the car, and then it's in the house. So today's video, I'm going to do a thing, an internet thing. I'm looking down at my computer. Um, I'm going to answer BuzzFeed quizzes. You don't answer quizzes, you take quizzes. I'm going to take BuzzFeed quizzes. Um, just because I didn't have an idea for today. And then I was talking to my friend Santo. Um, he's my best friend in the entire world. And he and I were talking about answering questions. So I found some BuzzFeed quizzes and I'm going to take them and we're going to laugh at the results together, okay? Okay, lipstick, teeth, good? I think so, okay. Let's start out with, if I'm allowed, I don't know if I'm legally allowed to like show the pictures of the BuzzFeed quizzes that I'm taking. I don't know how that works, like with YouTube stuff. I don't know if any of you guys know for any reason, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to like maybe put stuff here, but then also maybe not. So, so let's do this one first. What would your job be in a rom-com, like a romantic comedy? Okay. What word best describes your general vibe? Sweet, cool, plucky. Plucky? <laughs> Ambitious, cynical, idealistic, clever, anxious, or sleepy. What does plucky mean? I'm gonna click that one just because I, I like that word. Choose a brick wall. Um, the red one. Yeah? Pick a baked good. All, all of them. All of them, absolutely. Um, but I can't eat any of these. Does that matter? Is it just by picture? We're gonna go with this thing that looks like Oreos. Do you hear the cat outside? Yep. Yeah. Um, I got architect Ted Mosby. <laughs> you know, if I was gonna be anybody, I guess I'd be Ted Mosby. Do you guys watch How I Met Your Mother? All right, we, I gotta let this cat in. Do you hear the squeaking? Hey cat, keep squeaking. All right, let me let him in. Let me let him in, you guys can say hi. Hold on. This is Ubedida. Quentin, this is my roommate's cat. I don't really like cats very much. Um, this one's okay though. Look how cute he is. He's such a little baby. You're such a little baby. And he's very like, cats don't care about things, do they? Like you can hold him like this and he's like cool with it. Look how cute he is. Look how cute. Quentin, look at yourself. Look how cute you are. Does he see himself? <laughs> I think he's confused. Okay, are you gonna be a good boy in here? Or I'm gonna have to put you back outside. Not outside, outside, but like outside my room, I mean. Okay, floor, go on the floor, okay. All right, so back to the quizzes. Let's do, are you a good person or a bad person? Where do you put the grocery cart when you're done shopping? In the cart return or just leave it in a space? It kind of depends, but I put it in the cart return more often than I just leave it. No, don't eat that. Hold on. No eating things on the floor. All right, we're gonna go outside. You should do cutie kitty. Okay, we're gonna go outside, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh. Um, how often do you use your turn signal? Never, sometimes, often, or I leave it on all the time. Why is there no in between often and I leave it on all the time? Like I put it on when I'm turning or when I'm switching lanes. So I guess I leave it on all the time. Have you ever lied to avoid helping a friend move? No. I offer to help people move and they say no to me. Like what's that about? Which of these actions is the most acceptable? Spitting, littering, gossiping, cutting in line, stealing, hating things you don't understand. The most acceptable? Cat! Come on! Um, spitting. Spitting's totally fine. You got not bad, you're actually kind of a good person. And it's Kristen Bell doing this. Anyway, let's do one more. One more quiz, because this is not as fun as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Can you identify the celeb from a really bad Play-Doh sculpture? Absolutely not. I can't identify celebrities looking at a picture of them. Like, I don't know celebrities at all. So let's, can you guess who this is? Uh, John Travolta? What, Chris Pratt, that's definitely John Travolta. That's def, that's like a great John Travolta. Um, this one's really off. Any idea who it's supposed to be? Uh, Kylie Jenner? Yes, just the lips. I mean, come on. A little Miranda sings, but the lips. Who is she? Well, I thought it was Michael Jackson at first. I don't know who Shay Mitchell is, or I don't know what she looks like. I think I know that she's a human. Um, uh, 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 mm, 
let's just go with Shea Mitchell, because I don't know. Selena Gomez. Well, you know, okay, all right. Here's a freebie, because who else could it really be? <laughs> they only give you one answer, Donald Trump. That's good, four out of seven. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not too mad. Oh wait, let's do one more, let's do one more. <laughs> Because I like the ones that like guess your age. This one is we know your age based on your hipster choices. Pick a flavor of LaCroix. Oh, tangerine for sure. Pick a pool float for your Instagram. Whoa, you guys look at these. I want all of them. Not, not hipster, but I want these. I might go with the airplane. Oh wait, for Instagram, I'd probably pick the flamingo. But for my life, I'd probably want the airplane. No, I'd probably go with the lips. We're gonna, <laughs> lips. Pick a refreshment. Water. Oh, LaCroix. <laughs> I really do like seltzer water a lot, sparkling water, or whatever. Pick a hip destination. Well, since Portland's one of my favorite cities, I have to go with Portland. Even though I've lived in three of, I've lived in three of those. Three of the hip destinations out of nine. You got 39. I guess like, if this BuzzFeed quiz thinks I'm 39, and I look like I'm 25, that does not even out to 30, but almost, kind of. So, okay, is that it for this video? I'm not even gonna put this video up. I don't know, because it's dark, first of all. And second of all, this was not very funny. Ooh, we know your exact age based on your cheese choices. Hold on, I need to do one more. Load, okay. Which cheese do you enjoy most before dinner? <laughs> I like this string cheese as an option. Um, we're gonna go with cheddar. Which cheese would you put on toast? Um, I'd put American cheese on toast. Uh, mozzarella, maybe? Fe no, feta I want in a salad. Um, let's go mozzarella. Which cheese would you enjoy after dinner? These are all fancy. Parmesan after? Can I have Parmesan during? Mm, okay. Which is your favorite? Uh, ooh, pepper, mm, don't make me choose. It's, yeah. You got 21. Well, so, the, so it, that averages out to 30. 29 and 39 averages out to 30. I did it, I did it, I did it. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And again, I'm in a little bit of like a uh, creative rut. I don't know what I want to do. So let me know in the comments any suggestions that you guys have for videos. Um, I think I'm going to do a room tour, but I'm going to do that like in a week or two because I still don't have my bed frame up. And over here, like right here, is a disaster. <laughs> um, it's not totally organized yet. So I'm going to do that soon. And I have like a few other videos kind of in the works, but just let me know any suggestions you might have. And subscribe if you're not already. I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday. Boop. What is that from? Happy endings. In like the second episode or the third episode where Dave meets Andrea and then her, then she goes boop and then her grandma goes boop. Remember that? Mm, do you guys watch Happy Endings? It's like the best sitcom in the entire world. Okay, I'm, okay. And that is it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, Katie. Oh, boy.